Say cheese. Cameras are a huge part of our lives. They capture our most treasured memories, our silliest antics, and our hugs with our best friends. And thanks to the digital camera revolution, they are in our phones and devices, ready 24 seven to freeze any moment forever. Lost in all of this convenience is an indisputable fact. Cameras are magical. An innovation that literally changed how we see the world. Let's zoom in on how cameras do what they do. Right now on Owl Connected's General Knowledge. You're probably most familiar with a camera being found in one of these. We will get to that, but first we're gonna break it down by talking about how a traditional film camera works. The camera might be a machine, but one of the best ways to describe how they work is to look at a part of our own bodies, the eye. A camera and your eye go about their business in a very similar manner. Both are built to receive light from the outside world and both have a mechanism at the front that can expand or contract to control how much of that light gets inside. On the eye, it is called the iris. On a camera, it is called the diaphragm. Here's how the iris works. In low light, it will expand to let in as much light as possible. This helps us to see. But in bright light, it contracts so that our eye does not get overwhelmed. The camera's diaphragm works in the same way. At the center of the diaphragm is an opening called the aperture. By changing the aperture setting, we can get well-lit images in a variety of situations. But there's a lot more to a camera than simply letting light inside it. Let's talk about light for a second, especially how it moves. Light is electromagnetic radiation and it travels in waves, waves that move in all directions at once. A light source, such as a light bulb or the sun, creates its own light waves. But most other things, including us humans, only reflect light. As light waves hit us, they bounce back off, revealing us to the world. However, that reflected light bounces off of us in all directions at once, making us appear as a blur. Thankfully, the human eye is able to capture and focus that light into what is known as a real image. To successfully take a picture, a camera needs to create its own real image. And to do that, it uses lenses. In the most basic sense, a lens is a piece of curved glass or clear plastic. As light passes through the lens, this curve causes the direction of the light to bend. A camera uses a convex lens. This is where the lens bends outward, like a gentle hill. When light passes through a convex lens, the rays converge or meet at a central point. Now all of those waves of light that were flying off in every direction have been focused together. After converging, the rays will begin to spread apart again. Fortunately, we want this to happen. As the rays begin to spread apart, they open up to create our real image. The only difference is because the beams have crisscrossed, that image is actually flipped upside down. Incidentally, the same thing happens inside our eye, but our brain knows to flip the image back the right way up. Amazing. We're finally near the end of the process. Our camera has managed to let in the right amount of light and to focus that light into a real image. We only need to capture that image. It's time to open the shutter. The shutter is simply a panel in front of the film. By pressing the shutter button, the shutter opens for a fraction of a second. Light floods into the camera in an instant, stamping the real image of a moment in time onto the film. Did we just say film? What is that? For over a century, cameras have used something called film. This is a thin, narrow, transparent plastic sheet that is covered in a light-sensitive silver halide coating. It is extremely important to keep film away from all light. That's because the moment light hits film, its impression is instantaneously seared into it. You can still use traditional film, but the majority of us use digital cameras. Instead of film, this has a digital light receptor. This takes light and turns it into digital information, which the camera's computer can then use to create an image. Using this technology, not only can we take nearly limitless photos, but we can see the results instantly. Just ask an adult what it was like to wait for a roll of film to be developed. Thanks for watching. If you're keen on developing your own vast album of knowledge, then subscribe below. 
That way you will never miss another episode of Owl Connected's general knowledge.